New Yorkers voted to enshrine abortion in the Constitution. It protects doctors, medical providers, and more. In addition, they have given $100 million. Wow, if you live in New York, they're paying $100 million to fund abortion providers? You guys are missing millions of votes. Where'd those go? And lastly, congratulate the president-elect Donald Trump. Oh, president-elect! And if possible... Yeah, Tish! We are guardians of the law, and we are prepared, my friends, to fight back. Oh my gosh! That was one of the most melodramatic, ridiculous statements. Tish James looking nervous in New York. Donald Trump has won the presidency. She ran her race to stop him, got very close to doing so, and now has to be concerned about repercussions coming for her own criminalities, her own exposure for violating the laws, for using the power of her office to go against President Trump. Should have never have done that. And now is trying to enshrine her actions to envelop them, to wrap them in legitimacy before Trump takes power. So both her and the governor have released this. They, as soon as Trump got elected, they came out, put this press release out on their website. New York State Attorney General. So these two are going to be unifying. Attorney General James and Governor Hochul are now committing to protecting fundamental freedoms against President Trump. What freedoms? I want to see specifically. Are they going to be stopping Trump from seizing from their citizens? They have an update. They announced a strengthened part partnership. So they're even best -er friends than they were before to address potential federal legal threats to reproductive freedom, gun safety laws, and other key issues. All right. So it's just going to be a battle. Governor Hochul also announced the new Empire State Freedom Initiative, which convened before the election and is already addressing comprehensive plans to address any regulatory threats that might come from Trump. New York is arming up against Trump. The governor also highlighted that New York has already taken steps to protect access to abortion as the Constitution provides. During Trump's first term, the New York state residents found itself targeted by Trump, forcing the state to respond with affirmative and defensive litigation. All right, what happened? Now they're going to work to provide guidance to New York residents and more. Governor Hochul is also developing strategies to protect from threats that could emerge under President Trump. They're like in a war state. This team includes representatives from the governor's office of federal affairs, lawyers, the Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services. The task Task force is focused on areas where New York State and New Yorkers are most likely to face threats from Trump, including reproductive rights, civil rights, immigration, yeah, the deportation plan, gun safety, the environment, and other things. The task force has already developed an initial analysis of the vulnerabilities based on comments that have been outlined by Trump. It will now be tasked with driving proactive measures that they can take both before and after Trump is sworn in through legislation, rulemaking, appropriations, partnerships, and more. Already bracing for impact. Following significant efforts by the government and Tish, New Yorkers voted to enshrine abortion in the Constitution. It protects doctors, medical providers, and more. In addition, they have given $100 million. Wow, if you live in New York, they're paying $100 million to fund abortion providers? Wow, that's a lot of abortions. Additionally, the governor remains an active member of Reproductive Freedom Alliance. They abort even more. Also, climate change and guns. They're going to try to get guns off the street. So they're arming up over there, man. They're really getting ready to unleash their defense against Trump. And so, Tish, we played a short clip of this earlier in the week, but here was the full press briefing. Let's listen to Tish. Thank you all for coming. It's thank short. you, Governor, for convening us. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who ran for office, those who were victorious and those who didn't get the results that they worked for. There is nothing more difficult than running for office, and our democracy is better off because of your efforts. We also achieved an important step in our efforts to protect our right to choose in New York. And I want to thank Sasha Ajua for all of her efforts and Donna Lieberman of AC for all that they have done um, to get us to that point. Thank you to all of those who worked so hard to enshrine that right in our Constitution and protected generations to come. I also want to thank New Yorkers for showing up in record numbers to the polls. Not that to exercise record. your most basic and sacred You guys are missing Democratic millions of votes. Right. Where'd those go? And lastly, congratulate the president-elect Donald oh, Trump. Oh, president-elect! And if possible, yeah, Tish. we will work with his administration, but we will not compromise our values or our integrity or our principles. We did not expect this result. What principles? But we are prepared to respond to this result. Oh. And my office has been preparing for several months because we've been here before. It's we faced this challenge before and we use the rule of law to fight back. And we are prepared to fight back once again. Because as the Attorney General of this great state, it is my job to protect and defend the rights of New Yorkers and the rule of law. And I will not shrink from that responsibility. You see, between 2019 and 2021, the Office of 
of the Attorney General took nearly 100 legal actions against the previous Trump administration. Insane. Including when he attempted to cap the state and local tax and when he sought to eliminate funds and grants for law enforcement officers here in the state of New York. We fought to preserve DACA and protect the Affordable Care Act. We fought to prevent a question about citizenship from being on the census because we were concerned about the impact of, of funding, the lack of funding to the state of New York and how it would affect these programs. We beat the Muslim ban. We stopped the dismantling of the United States Postal Service. We challenged anti-LGBTQ plus efforts. We safeguarded key environmental yes, we know, policies. Tish, and we you're amazing. We protected access to reproductive care. Yes, great and we job. protected the right to organize. Trump was going to eliminate We worked all around the yes, clock to defend these basic rights with our Democratic colleagues across this nation. It's like a godlike complex. So as you can see, we know their playbook. We know Project 2025. He'd never been a part it was of it. even published. Liar. And we have been working both in my office and with other Democratic AGs across this country to make sure that we would be ready to respond to any attempt to roll back our rights. So here we are. Very dramatic. We've studied their platforms. We've identified certain possibilities, fact patterns. Like what? We've created contingency plans. Like what? So no matter what the next administration throws at us, we're ready. We're ready to respond to their attacks. Is she in a hostile territory? We're ready to respond to any attempts to cut or eliminate any funding to the great state of New York as the governor outlined. Well, good. You guys can raise taxes on yourself. So despite what has happened on the national stage, we will continue to stand tall in the face of injustice, revenge, or retribution. Golly. We will continue to protect and our most vulnerable and marginalized amongst us because it is my sworn duty and responsibility to lead that fight working with the governor of this great state, Kathy Hochul. This is not the time to be fearful, New York. Tish is but here. faithful save and steadfast, you. knowing that I, as the attorney general, along with my entire team, we are guardians of the law and we are prepared, my friends, to fight back. Oh my gosh. That was one of the most melodramatic, ridiculous statements. How many times do you think she practiced that? That's the attorney general of New York. It sounds like she's in hostile territory, like she is in a hostage situation or like their country's under attack or something.